The, uh, you know, any exercise helps me as a judge to clear my mind, to feel better, to feel like, you know, I'm, I'm more productive, I know, as a judge uh, if I've exercised. It helps me as a judge because it helps relieve stress and it also, uh, I think, helps me focus. And during the time I'm exercising, I'm kind of planning my day. So it, it, it's a win-win situation for me. I'd be happy to share some of my healthy habits. And they're little things, but they've been lifelong habits that brought me from where I started to where I am today. It is a tremendous stress reliever. And additionally, I used to run with music. I don't run with music anymore. Um, and it gives me time to think if I want to, right? So sometimes you just want to unplug and just enjoy the scenery and the just the sound of your footsteps and nature and so forth. And then sometimes you just work out things in your mind that you hadn't had a chance to sort of sit down or stand up and run and think about it. My tip for people is that exercise should be a joy. I mean, it should be a, one of life's pleasures for you. It doesn't need to be miserable. It doesn't, I mean, my kids and my husband sometimes tease me because they're like, you don't even sweat when you work out. I'm like, I don't feel like it needs to be miserable. It should be fun, it should be a joy. I encourage you judges to try to get involved in some type of a fitness program, even if that means, you know, just uh, taking 20 minutes for a stroll around the courthouse. It helps me as a judge because uh, fitness is my drug. Working out is what takes away some of the stress. Um, gets me away from thinking about everything else and all I focus on is what we're doing in the gym right at that moment. Well, I find routine is key. I think um, the fact that um, now that I am back on sort of the routine that I had employed for, for years and I fell off for a while um, and I'm back on that, it makes me um, more alert. Um, I'm more ready uh, to go. I feel better about myself overall physically and that helps me mentally. Um, and is there, that's just that interplay between mental and physical fitness um, that helps you overall. And I think that that also addresses in, uh, your, my productivity uh, on the bench. The only thing I really worry about is my diet. Uh, I try to avoid fast food. In fact, I try to avoid all franchise foods. Uh, and I also try to avoid sugar uh, and uh, all fried food. Other than that, I try to follow the concept from Aristotle, which is to keep everything in moderation. Uh, my best tip for starting a fitness routine is to find something that you like. If, if you're not a runner, fine. Walk, play tennis, uh, do yoga. That's a great exercise too. I haven't done it in a while. Swim. Uh, find something that fits you and something that you can do consistently. My best tip for people starting is to start and to do whatever works for you at whatever time of the day works for you. I'm a morning person, like I said, so it's a great time for me to get up. It's like one thing I can check off my list uh, for the day and I'm done. But some people are not like me and they're night people. But whatever time works for you, find a time and do it and carve it out for yourself. It's really important. You're gonna get started in some type of a, a fitness program, I'd recommend just starting out simple. You know, just allocate 20 minutes a day and maybe, uh, you know, get involved with the trainer in the beginning and, uh, you know, help them help you get your form down and, and not overly complicate things. My biggest fitness tip for my fellow judges is if you have had a routine and you've fallen off that routine is to just get back on the horn. Whether that is walking, swimming, running, going to your local gym, whatever routine that you had, um, oftentimes life circumstances take us out of those routines, just try to get back on. And those circumstances could be everything from dealing with a physical ailment to um, help, you know, helping a loved one out um, after hours, after work, um, or in many cases, for many of us, some running campaigns. Working out is sort of the one thing you do that's just for you. No one else cares. It doesn't really help the world be a better place. It's really just for you. It, it feels to me like I'm doing something for myself, not something I have to do or something I'm supposed to do, but it's for me. My best tip for starting a fitness program is start small. What I always told people was, <clears throat> especially if they were going to start running, 
um, go out and walk and run, walk and run for 30 minutes. If you, if you walk the whole 30 minutes, that's fine. If you feel like running, break into a light jog. 30 minutes total. So you're going 15 minutes out, 15 minutes back. At the end of about eight weeks, you're gonna find yourself running probably the entire time. For me, a healthy body leads to a healthy mind. And the kind of work we do as judges, I think it's very important for us to be centered and grounded in a healthy body so that we have a healthy mind for our decision making. And I feel better mentally when I'm feeling well physically. And exercise has been a lifelong activity for me. It's like what I do every day, like brushing my teeth and washing my face. It's something that's a part of my being. And I really do think that it helps me as a judge. You are a runner if you run. And it doesn't matter if it's one mile, it doesn't matter if it's a walk a mile, run a mile, walk a minute, run a minute. Do it and stick with it. Stick with it for at least three weeks. Give yourself a chance. And after three weeks, if you don't like it, you know, maybe try something else. But the benefits are huge. Any, any exercise that you do, the benefits are so uh, outweigh any of the temporary pain that you may <laughs> experience. IJA is on the move.